Hi everyone! Uh, in this video I'm going to play the Drunken Sailor medley. So we're going to do the A part twice and then we'll do the B part twice. And this is how we are going to play it as a group. So that will happen all twice. So two A's, two B's, two A's, two B's. And then um, we'll go ahead and end it with um, the last note is going to be an E since it's an E minor. So you'll add that. Okay, so I'm gonna play this um, up to what we're gonna be performing it at, so at performance tempo. And that might mean that when we get to the B part, you switch to the chords. So just to go over the chords with you once, E minor, you can just play an E on your D string, so first finger D, and then D is open D, and A, let's either use open A, or G1. And then if you would like to add the fifth above each chord, so the fifth note above the chord, so the fifth note above E is a B, they are always gonna be right across from each other. So you can always find the next chord tone, the fifth, um, on the adjacent string that's higher. So I'm playing a D1, the fifth above it is an A1. And that covers two of the notes of the um, E minor chord. And then the D chord can be D and A. And the A chord, you can either do A and E. Or a more appropriate option would be one on G and one on D. Covering the lower foundational uh, accompaniment part, those chord tones. So uh, let's just go over those chords first. Um, in the B part. So it will go about like this. One, two, one, two. D. D. as well as open G, and then across from that is open D. So that always works for any chords on the fiddle, or the cello, or the viola. Okay, so now I'm going to, now I'm going to go ahead and actually play the, the tune as we talked about. So one, two, three, four.
pretty quick and don't worry if you just want to play chords we need that part too so have fun practicing that and we'll see you soon